A tenor clef is what we call a C clef, just like alto clef is. This means it marks middle C rather than G like the treble clef, or F like the bass clef. Here, middle C is the second line from the top, and the two backward C's in the clef sandwich the line between them. You can actually move the C clef anywhere you want on the staff, but if you move it, it's no longer tenor clef. Here are all the notes on the tenor clef staff. Feel free to come up with mnemonics to help yourself learn them if you like. The way you draw a tenor clef is the same way you would draw any other C clef. You just have to be careful to draw it in the right place so the C's sandwich the correct line. Here's the graphic we showed for alto clef in grade 4. The old style alto clefs we briefly mentioned in the alto clef lesson could also appear as tenor clefs, just lined up around the second highest line to show that middle C would be there instead. A couple other versions you may see include this one, or even, in very old medieval music, this thing on a four-line staff. It's just a C that hugs the C line. One thing you may want to keep in mind is that in tenor clef, the order in which you write sharps and flats on the staff when you write key signatures is going to look a little different, just to make sure they all fit on the staff. The sharps will look like this, and for flats, they'll look like this. We won't be dealing with 7 sharp and 7 flat key signatures in grade 5 at least. These are just for your information. Mm -hmm.